A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers were in Judea, who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky, I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean you are not to call profane. This happened three times and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel 
standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us, when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder the God, hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. At thirst is my soul for the living God. At thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst, a thirst is, my is a soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on, and bring to me your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go to the in, then will I go in to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and my Reading from the Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. This command I, I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Are you ready for your Lectio Brevis? Short sermon? Yeah, please. Okay. I have my watch out. I'm tying myself. Yesterday was the Feast of the Good Shepherd. And somehow we missed it because there were so many other things going on in the church. I even noticed I was watching the Mass yesterday from Rome with uh, the Pope, Pope Francis. And he really didn't say a lot about it. But for us, this is one of those things that have become iconic to us. If you ever go to Rome and you go into catacombs, 
One of the, one of the things that you see most often uh, scratch into walls is Jesus with the, she, with the lamb upon his shoulders. And it means something for us because we, sw- we speak not only in words, but we also speak in symbols. There's a thing called symbology. And the symbolism that goes along with it tells us something about God, tells us something about Jesus Christ, his son. God so loved the world, he sent his only son to us, to redeem us, to save us from our sins. And he uses pastoral language. When I was a boy growing up in Chicago, I'll be honest with you, some of these passages that had to do with sheep and things like that really didn't mean a lot to me. Now, if he talked dogs and cats and rats and stuff like that, I could understand it. But he's writing to these people who were very agrarian. All these people knew who shepherds were and what they did. And they knew something else. They knew about sheep. They knew about goats. That's why in Matthew we see that the goats go to the left and the sheep to the right. Because the sheep are the faithful ones. They're the ones who depend on the shepherd, not the goats. The goats can do whatever they want. And we see that in reading this morning from the, from the gospel itself. Jesus said... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep, and a higher man who works who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches uh, sight and scatters them. Jesus knows that there are going to be wolves in our lives. But we call it temptation if you wish but we need to be having somebody who can, we can anchor to. In fact, that's Jesus Christ himself. That's why, he's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why he puts himself up as the good shepherd, the shepherd who is there for us, the shepherd there who's going to lay down his life for us. <clears throat> so as you've got six more weeks to this Easter season, think about what the, the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, but not only the sacrifice he made for us, But think about the gifts that he left us, the gift of the Eucharist, the gift of himself. Amen. Amen. Please stand. So the Lord, we now bring our prayers and petition to you. We know you are our good shepherd, and we know that you take good care of us. Lord, we pray especially for the your flock at St. Dominic's who cannot be with us this morning physically, but for all of those who are watching us live stream, we bring their prayers to the Lord as well. And we pray for our shepherd as well. For the shepherds and pastors of the church who keep watch at the gate over the flock of Jesus, that they may allow no thief to damage or steal his own, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our for world leaders, that God may send forth to them his light and his fidelity, and that they themselves may faithfully guide us in the ways of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For the unconverted and those estranged from God and his church, especially our own loved ones, that God may grant them loving, loving repentance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <clears throat> that we know <clears throat> the vigilance, the vigilant and tender care of the Good Shepherd may be our prayers, obtain the same blessing for all who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our loved ones who have died, who thirst to go and behold the face of the living, that God, that Jesus may shepherd them to the running waters of God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray especially today for our one-man choir, Raul, who is celebrating 78 years of life. And we thank you, Lord, for his blessings. We thank you for his ministry. We ask for the blessing of good health that he be with us for many, many more years. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you, Father. We ask Mary, our mother, to take our prayers for some Jesus. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers to 
Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human and it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all our sin. Let us pray that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit to perpetual, perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. It's our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our passion has been sacrificed. Through heaven, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising to life lifts us all to be risen with him. And therefore, overcome the past with joy, every man, every Praise as together with the angels and the saints we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. And make holy, therefore, be the gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a separate way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and again, giving thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world that bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Michael and Gustavo, our bishops and clergy and people everywhere. Remember your servants, Jerry Trogan, Carmen M. Solis, Maria Elsa Casares, and Antonia Juarez, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in the death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching that is now there to pray, our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven thy will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, that we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your community. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. In your spirit, let us, wherever we are, bring our needs for peace to God, especially if there are problems in our families. We know there are problems in our world, and we know that we all long for peace in our hearts. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the
Look beyond the grave you be. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See His love for pious love. Give us a sign that we Amen. Now and 